I sense some vibrations coming from my web. Is it possible that something fell from my trap? That must have been a very careless creature. Even though this cave is pretty dark, my web is thick and reflects light. So that careless someone probably ran into my creation. And now, they wonder what's stopping them. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. Wriggle more, dear. The more you wriggle, the quicker I'll be able to find you. I can hear some whimpers as well. Whimper as much as you want. No one will help you here. But don't whimper too much. I have sensitive ears. And if needed, I can find a way to silence you. Whether it would be pleasurable for you or me and me only. You're using all your strength on that web, aren't you? <laughs> it's no use. You won't break free, no matter what you do. Unless you beg for forgiveness and explain why I should not eat you right there and right then. But even then, slim chance. I can feel I'm getting closer. I can sense you as well. Oh my, impossible. Is that really true? Yes, it looks like it's true. An innocent, weak human got caught in my web. I've never had that happen before. Humans wandering through this cave would usually just use their flashlights and noticing the many spider webs waiting there to catch some food for me. They would run away instantly. But you... You were so scared you probably didn't even know what you got yourself into. That's very bad. You should always look where you're going. You never know what could appear on your path. And now, because of your carelessness, you have nowhere to go. You will stay right here. To be honest, you also smell quite delicious. And I've heard humans taste quite delicate. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I scaring you? If so, that is partially my goal. Because what else would you think about a huge flesh eating spider woman with eight long legs living in a cave stuffed with huge spider webs for someone like you to get stuck in? Frightening, isn't it? I really enjoy the look on your face. It clearly tells that you're terrified about not just me, 
not just the setting, but also about what I could possibly do to you. It satisfies me. It assures that I'm stronger and more powerful than you will ever be, pathetic human. And for that reason, I'll let you live. Besides that, I've already eaten today. I have no purpose for overfilling my stomach. One wrong move though, and I will not hesitate to devour you with pleasure. But like I said, you will stay alive, but you will not leave this cave. Even if you tried to, you would only get stuck in another web. I'm the only one that knows the correct way out. And I decided that I don't want you to leave yet. There is so much potential in you. And so much fun I could have with you. I've always wanted to catch a human. Not for food, but for entertainment. Animals can't talk. They can't express their feelings or their opinions. Therefore, I don't feel bad for eating them. Humans, however, I can't talk with. I can't understand. And they will also understand me. Or so I thought, because I couldn't confirm the theory, as humans constantly and successfully avoided any contact with me. That is, until now. I finally have a human that won't run away from me. Yet, as much as I want you to say, I'll try my best for you to enjoy your stay. From now on, I will keep you as my little pet, my little plaything. I will take care of you, bring you food, comfort, anything you desire. All I expect in return is for you to care for me as well. To satisfy me emotionally and socially. I'll try to satisfy you as well in many different ways. I can be like a friend to you. Maybe even a mistress. All I need you to do is to behave and not one hair of yours will fall. To show you how much trust I have in you, I'll get you out of this web. Like I said, if you attempt to escape straight away, I'll catch you nonetheless. And then, you can be sure I'll enjoy your tasty flesh. So if you're a good pet, and if you trust me too, you will not try to run away. Now, 
my little one. Please stay still while I'm unsticking you from the trap. You want to be able to move freely, don't you? Just a bit more. That's a good human. And you didn't try to run. You deserve a reward. Come to me, my dear. I'll give you a hug. Come on. These legs are not just for being scary. That's my good pet. See? I won't harm you. We do that only if we feel endangered. Be my kind human, and I'll be sure to protect you. We Arachnes also have a heart. We also have feelings. We just lack someone to share them to. You seem quite perfect for me. So that's why I care about your feelings as well. Speaking of the things you feel, I can feel your stomach rumbling. Are you hungry? Just as I thought. I can try to find some food. You probably won't be able to eat it raw like I do. So I will cook something for you. Not in the cave, obviously. I don't want the webs to catch on fire. I'll take you with me, so you won't get lost in the cave. I'll also show you around the forest a bit. Then we'll settle down by the bonfire for a nice meal. Does that sound good? I'm glad you think so, my little one. Now, now, hop on my back and hold on tight. You'll be in for a nice ride. Probably not the only one in your life.